I've just noticed the symbols on the back of the hands. Okay, I know this is meant to be a third person adventure game, but some of the angles are slightly odd. I believe I'm close to finding what I need. Do you know this man downstairs, the one perpetually reciting his multiplication tables? Yes, he is Wolf, but you will get nothing from him. He will only speak with one man, this Professor Schwartz, but I believe he died a long time ago. Perhaps the medical files on this man Wolf will be helpful. I believe that this means classroom. Klassenzimmer? Sounds close enough. I mean, it's been 23 years ago since I moved home from Germany. My German is not the best. It's pretty much minimal. It must be used to punish insolent pupils. Slightly excessive. This should prove useful. And now time to become the good Professor Schwartz and pay a visit to Wolf. Who is this anonymous patient? Perhaps there is a file on him, as with the other patients. Before we visit Wolf, we're going to check out this file. As I believe, well, the last time I walked straight to him, from here, he was sleeping and wouldn't answer me until I arrived from somewhere else. Ah, here's the file I was seeking. It can only be our mysterious patient. What a strange character. So yeah, just to be on the safe side, I'm gonna go the long way around. Times six is twelve. Two times seven is fourteen. Three times eight is oh, what is it? Oh yes, twenty-four. Five times five is twenty-five. Apparently, he will only speak with one particular person. I wonder. So, Wolf, I see you have mastered your lesson. Splendid. P -p Professor Schwartz? I congratulate you, Wolf. I cannot say the same about your other classmates. I am most unhappy with their behavior, because it seems they have been cheating. Professor Schwartz, you saw them, didn't you? I know my lessons. I always work so hard, and the others, they crib from me. I know, my boy, I know. But their leader, he is a doctor, isn't he? Yes, Professor, yes. He is the most vile member of the group. Sometimes he tries to keep me from my lessons. 
He says he will treat me like the others who don't speak like us and who scream so very loud when he punishes them. But I keep to my lessons and recite my tables all the day. He can't stop me. That's good, my boy. You have made me proud. Now, I need your help. Where do they meet? I must find them and make sure they get the punishment they so rightly deserve. They meet over there, but it is well hidden and only the doctor has the code. First, he makes noise with the fire near his office. Afterwards, he makes noise with the fire in front of me. And then he makes noise behind me. You will see he does not know his lessons. Thank you, Wolf. That's a clever boy. You have earned high marks this term, but for now you must try to recite your lessons in silence. Since I am the professor, I know and see everything. There is never a need to shout. As you say, Professor Schwartz. I don't need it anymore. Okay, so this way we can actually fast travel to the locations. As the fire itself refers to these torches. So the first one is outside of Gigax's office. Yes, the fire near his office. Then the fire in front of him. And the fire behind him. Simplicity itself. My apologies, but I do not understand what you are trying to say. If I may introduce myself, I am... Who you are means nothing. All that matters is your reverence to the One. You came to invoke the Great Lord with the speaking, and now I ask you, who am I, you wretched mortal? Well, this does not give us much information to go on. I wonder. Ah, oh, yeah. We can access the documents here. So, to find out who he is, let's do some digging around. Firstly, we have this... Well, these symbols. And we sent them off to Mycroft. who was nice enough to provide us with a translation, which is this. And it mentions this Light of Abyss. He is the one that you chose to show as the beauty of deep blackness. He is the one who carries your mark on the body. He has some interesting tattoos. His voice is your voice. So, this gentleman in question must be this Light of Abyss. Even your pitiful mind can find enlightenment before serving as food for the servants of chaos. Where are all those poor souls kidnapped in London? And what about the others who pass through here in their travels? Your search is in vain. You are nothing to the great lord. Soon he will heed our call, when those titans will be reassembled for the awakening of their king. The sleeping lord shall walk the earth. You and your kind will tear your flesh when you learn how your lives insult the great lord and master. 
You will plead for the abyss, as have all those before you who fed the Great One. Those who give their weak flesh to our Lord cry for his return. So shall you. He has lain dreaming, silent, hungry, awaiting his followers. Tremble in awe. Behold, the Great One returns. He makes so much noise. I'd better be on my way before he attracts the entire staff. It didn't really take them that long to capture all the birds. So let's jump straight to Gigax's office. As I don't believe that we are able to walk up the stairs. Now, we noticed this interesting door over here in the last video. And right here we have two lengths of rope. And I believe it is... Nope, it's not this one. Ah, here we go. Three short bells and then a long one. I wasn't that far off. Hello there. No challenge here. It is a primitive lock. Any simple metal tool should allow me to force it. I'm not going to pretend that I don't know who this is, and I'm going to reserve my judgment for this one. Pardon me, sir. I need your help. He does not seem to hear me. As usual, with stuff like this, I'm just going to roll with it and continue of ignorance in my mind. Moriarty! Moriarty, my worst enemy and a man who was presumed dead. Who could think this demon could have survived such a great fall at Reichenbach? He seems a shadow of his former self. There is no doubt he has truly lost his memory and therefore cannot be a part of these events. Find this outsider as quickly as possible and bring him to the treatment room. I shall take care of his memory. Professor, do you hear that voice? This man who is speaking to two others. A man of great intellect and ability who is approaching and is even now right behind that door. You know him, Professor. Come now, Professor. You can't have forgotten so easily. Let me remind you, Professor. I am going to reveal his identity. I will tell you his name. You know him well, Professor. He is... Sherlock Holmes. Stand where you are. So, let's just mosey on our way. At last, the laundry. First of all, I must prepare my Amos disguise. It's... 
It is the imposter! He is here! I'll sort you out, buddy. Come here. The doctor is not here. We had internal concerns arise today. Herr Director is engaged with urgent hospital matters and cannot be disturbed. Very well. We will take this troublesome wretch along with us. Perhaps tomorrow the doctor and I will be able to discuss our other matter. First of all, my friend, you should know that you have been dealing with two famous professionals. Your deceit has failed, and you should know that it is impossible to confound us. Who are you, and why have you come here? What is your opinion, Watson? Uh, Holmes! But, but what are you doing here? And you are as white as a sheet. It seems as though you met a ghost. It's quite possible, Watson. Quite possible. You should have told me about your plans, Holmes. Definitely not, Watson. You would have acted in an unnatural manner and done everything to persuade me against my course of action. You can be sure of that. Good God, Holmes, think of the risk you took. Indeed, Watson, and I hesitate to reveal my further plans. They are likely to be far more dangerous. Will you explain? Even though I know the crux of this affair began in Europe, and even perhaps in England, we have no elements indicating the when, the where, and the how. Our only lead would have us travel to a continent not our own, one that is wild and untamed in many ways. I assume that you now know the name of our next destination. There is one location that has popped up several times. Which is New Orleans. Anyway, I'm not going to search around for the other mentions of it. Let's just save some time. You are quite correct, Watson. New Orleans, Louisiana, located in the wilds of America, our nemesis has a group of his men there, and we must arrive in time to stop them. We must make haste to Le Havre and book ship's passage immediately. I took precautions before our departure from Switzerland, but it is imperative we maintain the utmost secrecy regarding both our true identities and our destination. We are dealing with a cunning and powerful adversary, Watson. Quite powerful. Do you require assistance, young man? Ah, yes, young man. As a Mr. Ho, um, the big detective, it is often necessary to use all of one's little grey cells to solve great mysteries. Hercule! Hercule! Where are you? Oh, here you are. Naughty boy, come along now. Madame Poirot, your stop is coming soon. An agent will assist you with your luggage. <laughs> 